Hey, I'm IT Nate. Let's talk about Windows. So you got your sweet new training computer built. You picked out all your cool parts online. They sent them to you. You got them all assembled. Now what? How do you use it, right? Yeah, so now we gotta install Windows. So that's what we're gonna talk about today. I'm gonna walk you through what it's like to actually install Windows, the process. Um, it'll probably actually be like a screenshot and then a voiceover, I haven't actually shot it yet. So we'll see, but we're gonna talk about how to install Windows. And then once you get it up and running, we're gonna talk about drivers, how to find out what drivers you're missing and then go out to the internet and find which ones that you actually need. So um, this is all gonna be done on a computer, so it'll all be a screenshot. So let's hop over there and I will walk you through how to install Windows and set up your new computer. All right, so here we are at the desktop. Uh, once you put your CD in and boot to the CD, this is what you're gonna get. Basically just click next and then install. Next page up here, it's gonna ask us what type of, I'm uh, sorry, it's gonna ask us for the CD key first. Go ahead and enter that. That'll be your COA that came with your copy of Windows. Click next. Uh, the next page here, we're gonna have to just accept their agreement. So you're gonna go ahead and click accept. Not really a whole lot you can do there. You can read, I guess, if you want. Uh, the next page uh, here, it's gonna ask us if we wanna upgrade a current install or create a new one. We wanna do custom, which is a new Windows install. So just click on that. Uh, here it's going to ask us what drive we want to install it onto. We only have one drive, so we just select that one, hit next. If you have multiple drives, you can choose it or go ahead and delete if you already have created partitions or whatever. So here it's actually installing Windows. This process takes probably 15 or 20 minutes, depending on your computer. I kind of jumped through that for you real quick, so we don't have to watch that. Um, so that is done. Windows is installed really at this point. Now it's going to ask us to set it up. So we got to choose English. We have a US key keyboard, pretty self-explanatory. You a different one, you use a different, choose a different one there, but uh, that'd be pretty, pretty straightforward. Uh, next here, it's going to ask us to set up a user account. Uh, so this computer will be used for personal use. And typically you'd use the Microsoft account to set this up. They'll allow you to use one drive and sync all of your accounts and stuff. You'd go ahead and enter that email address there. I am not using a Microsoft account for this one. It's just going to be a simple local account. As you can see here, I just name it user. It does an offline account. I don't enter a password or anything I just click next um, the way this machine is gonna be used we don't really need the Microsoft account stuff so it's just gonna be a basic machine nothing special uh, it's gonna ask if you want to use Cortana I click no because of the way this computer is gonna be used now it's just gonna go through and run the initial setup process and there you go Windows is installed um, we're just gonna go ahead and click sign in on this main sign in screen here and it loads to the desktop and gives us some information about hey welcome to Windows yada 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 whatever uh, so the first thing you're going to do once you have Windows installed is go to your device manager and check what your driver's situation is like. Here, we're not missing any drivers, which is great. makes life way easier. If you are missing some drivers here, though, they'll have a yellow exclamation mark to them. You can just go out to the manufacturer's website of your motherboard or your computer um, and download those drivers that are associated with, it'll tell you kind of which ones are missing if it's a video driver or whatever. Um, you can also start, and I usually do this a lot too, as long as you have internet connection, uh, go to right to Windows Update and run that. Um, if you're missing a driver, quite often Windows will find it um, and help you out a lot there, especially if it's a common one like a video driver or something like that. So um, here we're just installing a few updates. Like there's, looks like there's about four of them for this version of Windows. So it's gonna go out and download these and install them. This probably took another 15 or 20 minutes to do, but as you can see, it goes pretty quick here now I have it sped it up. So it's gonna install these four. Then you're gonna see it's gonna go out and check for some more. Um, and then it's gonna ask to reboot. So here we are rebooting the computer. Uh, and that's pretty much it. Uh, once it comes back up, you can see we'll check again and just make sure there's nothing left. But that's pretty much it when it comes to installing Windows. It's pretty straightforward, um, not a whole lot to it. So if you have any questions, definitely let us know. Uh, we'll definitely help you out if you, this was too fast for you or uh, have any more questions about how to install Windows or set up your new computer. So have a good one.